times that five for you. I do that three more times again. I testify for you. I told I like you that bitch. I do it all and I'm all wrong. You scared to do it. I'm not. As long as you joke and now it's the I had less Oh. Alone time than usual this morning. She woke up. I woke up. <laughs> well, we woke her up. This sinks. My breath sinks? Yes. <laughs> That's okay. <gasps> the fake daddy! Yes. What are y'all doing in the bathroom? I'm talking. Say, <laughs> so we're just girls. They're just girls, Daddy. We're in the bathroom having girl time. Yeah. <laughs> Open up, come on. Like this. What? Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. Ooh, wee. So this one is a little bit different because this morning routine we typically do with just me and Rue. I'm excited that Brandon is home today. Well, you're home. Today. Yeah, I'm home today. Okay, let me let me explain because you don't even know what I'm filming. Um, I'm filming my mommy morning routine, but usually this is my Monday through Friday routine. I'm filming it today on a Saturday, and I'm usually at work on Saturdays. Brandon is usually at work Monday through Friday mornings. <laughs> so this, this is my mommy morning routine, but I'm doing it on a Saturday, which is not usual. Brush my teeth. Oh, sorry, Rue wants to talk. Go ahead. I'm I do my hair. You don't just kill spiders? Hey, I need a hair camera. I do not look my best, but it's it's hair day. I'm getting my hair done today. My pimple patch, ew. Mm -hmm. Ew. to go pick up my smoothie if you are a returning viewer you likely have heard me complain about ten dollar smoothies yes i'm still addicted so i'm gonna go pick up my smoothie from tropical smoothie cafe they just came out with new mocktail smoothie flavors it's like how could i not give them my money this morning then we're gonna come back and make breakfast a smoothie or like a boba drink or something is always a part of my morning routine but this morning I don't even want to start making breakfast without it. This morning is also a little different because I have to go pick up hair from the beauty supply store. I'm getting short boho knotless. I can't wait. It's going to be so cute. But yeah, let's go. Oh, would you look at that? That's if you're not new here you may notice something different i usually wear about three to five rings on each hand like i wear a lot of rings I had to take them off. I took them off last night and they're still indented because I'm at that point in pregnancy where everything swells. My hands, my feet, my calves are really swollen. I am currently 33 weeks. Tomorrow I will be 34 weeks. So it's almost over. It's almost over. But anyways, back to the morning routine. So obviously it looks a little bit different today because Brandon and I are both home this morning and then we ran out to the beauty supply store. But let me just give you guys the rundown. This is not time. Some days I will wake up earlier. Some days I will wake up later. I usually always wake up between 7 and 9.30. 9.30 is like, whoa, I got a late start. 7 a.m. is like, all right, we're on track. I wake up, I do breakfast. I will go get my drink. I will straighten up. We will do shower time and get ready. The getting ready for me is a non-negotiable, even if it's just a little bit of skincare and pulling my hair back. 
that is when I carve out a tiny bit of like me time, alone time, time to sit at my vanity and just be a girl, like girl therapy. Hashtag girl therapy, okay? Even if you don't work today, even if you don't go outside, even if you don't got no plans, even if you are getting ready to get back in bed, girl, get up and get ready, okay? So we did breakfast, we got our drink, we're going to straighten up just a little bit and then we're going to hop in the shower to get ready. I feel like when I was like single living on my own, no kids, like straightening up every single day was not a priority. Now that I'm a mom, like for some reason I have to clean every day. Like the house doesn't get to just be dirty. The house doesn't get to just be messy. Like no, what? No. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I know that that switch happened for me, like becoming a mom. Like that's when I was like, oh, I'm cleaning every day, bro. Like I'm cleaning every day. So yeah, let's straighten up real quick. I'm gonna make my bed, straighten up my room a little bit, straighten up the baby's room a little bit. And then we'll get ready. We'll hop in the shower. I had to go get my hair braided today. So let's go. Okay, I got this cute little two-piece I'm gonna wear in my Winnie the Pooh era. Whatever, don't care. I think I'm gonna tie it. It looks a little like masculine almost undone but i think tied like that is cute that's so cute and it's gonna be so cute when i get my hair done let me put some perfume on i got this fuji pineapple palm this is an older bath and body works fragrance and i found it and fell in love with it again you know what that's pretty strong i was about to layer but i'm gonna leave it like this for now we are going to put some makeup on and then once i am ready i don't have to do my hair because i want to get it done once I'm ready, we're going to finish Aurora's hair or do Aurora's hair because she's already dressed um, and then head out. I always, I mean, always wear at least a little bit of makeup when I go get my hair done because, all right, it's a few reasons. I like to immediately feel myself. I don't want to get my hair done and be like, oh, this is going to be cute when I got makeup on or this is going to be cute when I do my lap, when I do my lashes or when I put brows on, like, no, I want to feel myself immediately. And like, I don't know. I just feel the most put together. And like, the person doing your hair is going to want pictures. And you know what I mean? Like, it cuts out any insecurity of like somebody taking pictures of you. I'm not doing a full face. I am doing brows, lashes, concealer, and a little gloss. That's it. I'm not doing a lot of makeup at all. I'm not putting on foundation blush contour bronze mm -mm. no no ma'am because it's hot outside it's hot outside i can already tell i'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup this summer i'm also gonna be a mom to an infant again this summer so like you know what no i will say when my first daughter was a baby when rora was a baby um i still did my makeup a lot like when that baby goes down for a nap or I'll like purposely wake up before my baby. I was lucky that she was fairly routined and I was a stay at home mom for a couple of months. But when that baby go down for a nap, you better believe I'm putting some brows on and some concealer. I used to do full faces and I think it's just because like I was just confident in my new weight gain, happy to have my body back, like, you know, I like wanted to wear makeup like I didn't feel that when I had my first kid I was wearing makeup out of insecurity I was wearing it out of confidence and that felt so good when I had room I was a makeup girl and it felt so like I felt so cute I would, I would get so happy 
to put my makeup on it was my first time in my life ever like being thick having hips having a little bit of something something and i loved every second of it so i think that's why i always wanted to like get cute like i felt real cute <laughs> i felt real cute after i had my daughter this time i didn't gain as much weight so i'm obviously not going to retain as much weight i gained almost 100 pounds with my first daughter this time i've gained around 20 pounds well i'm well, i was 140 and i started at about 115 so yeah no i started at 110 so i gained 30 pounds i definitely started at 110 i gained 30 pounds so far so i am i'm actually happy that i didn't gain as much this time because my bones was aching and i'm not being dramatic when i say that my bones were lit like my body was hurting when i gained that much weight with my first daughter because i had always been 100 pounds uh my entire life like from the time i was a teenager i never really passed 100 i was my my bones hurt like i'm not i'm not being dramatic my bones literally were hurting we're going to Gigi we're going to Gigi's. yeah yeah we're going to Gigi's. I gotta do your hair in a second. Are you about to sit down and potty? Good, very good. Okay. Huh? You're going potty. No, I'm not going to a party. No. Oh, no, I don't have to potty. We usually potty together because we're way too close. I don't know if y'all remember me getting out here with my big ass mouth and saying I would never get the Summer Fridays lip balm, $24 for a lip balm. No. Here she is. And I love her. Um, I was using the e.l.f. camo concealer the last couple of days. I think I need to like shake up the formula or something because it was going on great and perfect and I had no problems. And that was looking funny. Hi, Ru. You want lips? You want lip gloss? No. That's lip liner. You want lip liner? Mhm. Mm Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready to get your hair done? No. This is like. Is this looking a little dark? No. You know what? Whatever. It's on now. It's on now. Bugs? You have bugs in your eyes? No. That's what you said. Ew, you got bugs in your eyes? Ew. Ouch. Here's a fish one. That's a different brush. That brush is to like pull your hair back. This one is to detangle it. Using a shampoo brush to detangle on your tender headed kids is a life hack. Because we're gonna put your pretty headband back on, right? Okay. All right, look. Would you like to wear this one? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Look in the mirror. <gasps> what do you think? Good. You look so beautiful, right? Say, I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. You really are. You really are so beautiful. You ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye.